Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Empire Faucets shower head that we have here. And this is in a brush nickel finish, very nice looking, also comes in a biscuit color or white to match your RV perfectly. Now this is gonna be a pretty standard shower head that you would put in an RV. The nice part about this kit is it does come with the holder, um, both holders actually, the shower head as well as the cable, and it just hand tightens in. This is a quick, easy way to update your camper. Now this one, it has two functions. And you may be saying, what are those functions? Well, you have off or on. <laughs> those are your two functions. You can also turn it off by going this way. So that way, if you wanna stop water, say you're rinsing something out and you don't need that water going, but you don't wanna to have to turn your water on and off, you can simply just close that just by sliding that over. Now, if you wanted to step up to something with a little bit more functionality or some more features, there also is a three function, which has a stream spray or off. So they also offer that in those same three colors. So this braided hose is gonna be pretty high quality here. It's pretty rigid, so I don't expect this to really break down over time. And it does seem like it takes a lot for it to kink. So that's really good. Some hoses you see kink up and then you lose that water pressure. And it just attaches here to pretty much any stand up shower or a uh, tub that you might have that has this ad adapter down here for your shower head should go onto it with no problems. And it just simply tightens on the factory fitting. Now the brushed nickel finish is carried throughout all the brackets as well as the shower head and the gray hose actually goes well with it. So it gives us a nice modern look, a little more updating. So really all that's left is to change out this diverter valve so it all actually matches. And we have those here available at eTrailer. Again, that's just gonna give a nice cohesive touch of color throughout your RV, giving you a nice new modern clean look to your shower. So the diverter valves are actually available in three colors as well. You have a chrome, which would go well with the brushed nickel. You have a white, and then this is the actual biscuit color. It kind of has that yellowy, um, bready kind of color to it. Um, so if you want to match, you are able to do that by picking up the diverter and the corresponding color of the actual shower faucet. So our existing shower head has been leaking. And really when we go camping, it's rare that we're gone for a long period of time. So we really don't use it too often, but it's nice to still have the functionality of the shower if we need it. So I'm gonna go with a little more of a value option because I don't need anything fancy. And this, this is gonna work great for us. So let's go ahead, we'll get this one taken out and then we'll put the new one in. So starting off, you're gonna to want to grab a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're just simply going to start kind of removing our brackets here. This is gonna drop down. You're gonna see there's just two Phillips head screws. You can go ahead and take this out. You can also opt to keep the same bracket, um, but the kit comes with a matching nickel or whatever color you choose design. So having it all cohesive makes a little more sense, plus it's easy to do. So with that out, we'll simply move here to our cable guide. And with those out, this should simply kind of come with it here. Now we can just use our hands here to separate this fitting on the actual shower head. Or since we're replacing the whole thing, you can go ahead and take it off from the bottom. It's up to you. And that's gonna be pretty simple. Here you have this nut. You're just gonna kinda counterclockwise turn it. If it is tight, you, you could throw a pipe wrench on here. Just be careful as you can see, I'm just moving this back and forth and these walls are not exactly the strongest. So try to make sure that you're getting a nice fit on it and not torquing it too hard. And then you're gonna see that comes out. There is this little rubber gasket here. You can hold on to this one and reuse it or you can use the new one that comes with the kit. So you can see we have all of our parts that came with the kit and also included as some drywall anchors. So if this is your first time actually installing it, you can use those if you can't find a stud to mount to. So what you'll see, we have our head holder here that we took out, our cable holder, our shower head, and you also have two new gaskets. And I'm pretty sure this is where our leaking was coming from. And this is a pretty quick fix, but it's nice to be able to update at the same time. So to get this installed, pretty easy. We're gonna have 
both ends are going to be identical so it doesn't really matter which one you grab but you're going to want to make sure you take that little gasket press that in place and then you can simply hand tighten this on and then before attaching our shower head we're going to need to route our cable holder here and then next i'm going to go ahead and i'll put our gasket on this rubber piece here and then we'll take our head and just tighten that on so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use the new screws that included in the kit I'll just screw this back in place using our phillips head now a lot of these are going to be pretty standard throughout different rvs so you might get lucky and be able to reuse the same holes that you had previous from your additional holders that you had so hopefully that's the case if not a little drilling isn't gonna should hopefully cover all this up so let's go ahead and get our shower head holder on we do have those drywall angers handy if we do need those but already i like the color of this having a new um just fresh look is kind of nice as you can see the white from our old one it started to kind of just yellow and kind of just get some shower grime on it so this is not only going to look a little bit newer but it also just has a cleaner look to it i think and that holds nicely there now if you did shut your water off now's a good time to turn it back on the great thing about changing this out is these valves are going to keep that water from actually going in the shower head so you should be fine and not have to turn your water off but the next thing to do open this up and test your shower head and that was a look at the empire faucets shower head thanks for watching